the truth be told, I was not originally keen on featuring male pageants. But in the light of gender equality, it only seemed fair to give them some coverage. In fact, male pageants have recently become a growing phenomenon worldwide, and countries that have fared well include Venezuela, Brazil, Lebanon, India, and the Philippines. Did I enjoy doing this video? Was it worth it? Stick around and find out later in the video. Mr. Supranational is all set to be held from the 20th to the 22nd of August 2021 in Malopolska, Poland. And around 50 countries are expected at this year's 5th edition of Mr. Supranational. Walid Jakir The very first representative from Morocco stands 1.81 meters tall and is a 25-year-old personal trainer and professional model. He describes himself as a man with many goals and he is extremely delighted that one of his short-term goals of representing his country at Mr. Supranational is coming true. Morocco hopes to start a project to support homeless people as he has experienced what it feels like to be homeless in his life. Well done, Morocco! And if you are ever homeless again, drop me a line and I'm more than happy to help. Oki Alparesi Indonesia, who hails from the city of Rambutan, is 28 years old and stands 1.8 meters tall. He was named the new element of the year 2020, and with this title, he won the right to represent Indonesia at Mr. Supranational 2021. He is a university lecturer and a marketer in his free time. Oki enjoys painting, and he describes teaching as his greatest passion. As a colorblind person, one of his biggest goals is to build a platform and a community foundation to connect colorblind people. Should he win the title of Mr. Supranational 2020, he would like to share a message of hope to people with disabilities that there are always opportunities in limitations. Good on you, Indonesia! And rumor has it, you got the best rap Dr. Santusha Padayai. The 30-year-old medical doctor is the first representative of his country at Mr. Supranational. He stands 1.78 meters tall and enjoys painting, singing, and developing his leadership skills. This handsome doctor is a true leader and motivator. Should Nepal win the title of Mr. Supranational 2021, he will continue working on his causes of health, education, and the environment. His mission is to plant 10 million trees in five years with students around the world. He aims to have planted 10,000 trees as an example before the Mr. Supranational Finals. Marek Jastrab the 27-year-old football player stands 1.88 meters tall and is currently working as a fitness coach. Some of his hobbies include fitness, skiing, and cooking. Marek went to London in 2011 and attended a football camp for the 100 best amateur football players in the world, an achievement he is very proud of. Unlike Nepal and Indonesia, Slovakia might not have the same educational achievements, but f he looks hot. Kremen. The 29 year old stands 1.86 meters tall and is working as a police officer. This fitness fanatic enjoys cooking and spending time with his friends and family. David's biggest goal in life is to help people and encourage them to not be afraid of fulfilling their dreams. If he won the Mr. Supranational title, he would like to travel the world and motivate people to become more confident and stop worrying about fear of failure. Though the Czech looks more mature than most candidates with his larger-than-life personality, 
I believe Czech Republic will captivate many fans this year. Greece is 26 years old and stands 1.88 meters tall. After winning Mr. G.S. Hellas in 2020, the biggest national contest in Greece, the handsome fella will represent his country in the fifth edition of Mr. Supernational. In his latest videos, the Greek god seems sincere when he speaks, and I have noticed that he's also well spoken. It will be the first time for Greece to compete in Mr. Supernational, so I think he might give us a big surprise. Yes. The professional singer and model stands 1.86 meters tall and lives in Lima. In his free time, Peru loves composing songs, singing, playing soccer, and meditating. His short-term goal is to win his country's first ever Mr. Supernational title. And his long-term goal is to be an international recording artist. Should he win the title of Mr. Supernational, he would like to reach and inspire as many people as possible with his songs, words, and actions. Peru has the chance to win the crown this year. Besides being a good public speaker, he's also very charming without overdoing it. I'm sure Peru will give his best performance during the competition. Men have won crowns in the world pageants, but the men appear to be catching up, putting the country at the vanguard of male modeling. 26-year-old David Arenas was named Mr. Supranational Columbia 2020. He stands 1.89 meters tall and is currently working as a business administrator. This extreme sports fan enjoys watching and playing sports and cooking. Should he win the title, David hopes to use the platform to promote entrepreneurial skills of young men who do not have the resources necessary to pursue their careers. Ecuador is becoming a force in male pageantry. 30-year-old Mario Iglesias is Mr. Supernational Ecuador 2020 and one of the oldest in the competition. Mario has a degree in civil engineering and he is also a certified personal trainer. He stands 1.78 meters tall and enjoys helping people become a better version of themselves through personal fitness training. Should he win the title, he would like to work together with the Mr. Supernational organization to promote health care, especially now during COVID-19, which is a very crucial moment for all humanity. In Venezuela, William Badel, the Latin American James Bond. The truth is, I was rooting for Juan Pablo during the national final, but William is a very worthy winner. Based in Dubai, this 24-year-old proud Venezuelan works as a cabin crew and model while studying communications and arts. His English is impeccable and as a result of being bullied at school, he wants to stop school harassment. Additionally, he hopes to bring attention to his mother's cultural indigenous traditions by promoting their local handicrafts. Venezuela certainly seems to have many assets that caught my eye. So, the big question is, am I glad I covered male pageants for the first time? You bet I am! But who amongst these men is your favorite to win the Mr. Supernational crown? Let us know what you think in the comments below.